Hi everyone, I'm Laurentiu, and in this video I'm going to talk about all crash games for the Nintendo Wii. Both games are awesome, and I'm going to talk about them in general first, because there are many similarities in gameplay. And then, I'm going to speak about each one in particular and what makes it unique. In the background of the video, you will see what game it is in the video caption. Both games feature some incredible gameplay. It is smooth, it feasts the eye with its bright and colorful graphics, the level designs are nice and detailed enough, the controls are responsive and intuitive, also the platforming in both games is creative and fun and it, in general it's really fun to jump around in them. In both games, in combat you have to beat one creature and control its mind, you have to jack creatures. And it's nice that with a smaller creature you can defeat bigger creatures and move on to the other creature, the bigger one. It's nice to switch between them and it's nice that you don't lose life if you get hit while controlling another creature. You get damaged only if you play just with Crash. Creatures are plenty in both games. And some look cool and others are fun, like for example the farting space squirrels. You, you'll see when you play. Also both games feature tons of humor and are a delight to play. And the game formula is a good one, even though it's repetitive. I mean, I ne it never felt repetitive. Only now that I'm trying to explain you the game, it sounds repetitive, but it doesn't feel like that when you play. New monsters appear at regular intervals, new locations too, the story is interesting, you never feel bored in these two games. And now let's get into the particularities. Crash of the Titans has mini games, like jack a mole where you where moles pop out and you have to punch them in the face. Crate Crash, which is the same thing as jack a mole only with crates. Crash Coral, where you have to jack monsters and lead them back in to your coral pad. Titan Takedown, where you have to jack monsters and ride them around longer than your opponent. And Barrel Defender, where you have to protect your barrels and attack your opponent's barrels. And now in Mind Over Mutant, the particularities are The graphics look improved from the previous game, Crash of the Titans. And even though you have free roam, it's kind of annoying, because it's not your classical free roam, but the stages are linear, and you have to choose at crossroads where you want to go. And you will get to go back and forth a lot, so even though it has free roam, it's more of the annoying type of free roam. Ok, so in conclusion, these two games are a must play. Their gameplay is fun and varied, the story has a lot of humor, and it will give you hours of fun for sure, like it did for me. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe and if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other playlists I made. Thanks for watching!